My iPods wouldn't connect to my phone, so I changed the name of them to Titanic. They're sinking now. <laughs> that was from Jeff Redhead, and don't forget, comment your jokes down below. Right, so hello again, everybody, and welcome back. A popular question at the moment is launches for your Android TV boxes. And a lot of it comes down to such as the GT King Pro, the Chinese boxes, they work really, really well, but the interface just looks really, really dog shit. And this is going to be appealing for kids and people not very tech savvy and your your mums, your dads, your granddads and things like that. This makes it really, really simple. So now let's show you how to install it, how it works and what it looks like. Right, so that being said, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and let's crack on. Right, so first of all, comment down below this is only one launcher, there's several out there and if you want I can do videos on more than just this launcher. I'm only using this one at the moment because I think it's going to be really appealing for such as me with my kids so they can't access things I don't want them to access. It's really simple for them to use and they're not going to struggle shouting, Dad, come here, this is not working again. Come here means can you come here please. And then <laughs> Right, so as you can see, this is the launcher, it's a TV launcher and this is on the GT King Pro. So if I go back to the GT King Pro, I have put another background on this, but you are going to see this is what it looks like originally. And like I said, if I'm putting this into such as the kid's bedroom or I'm giving something like this to my parents, they haven't got a prayer and navigating around this. And it all just looks too overwhelming. So all we can do, we can change the launcher to this one. It's really basic, you can see at the top you've got different categories. So you've got your favourites, your movies, so all your movie apps can go into here. Live TV, you've got your games, and then you've also got utilities if you want it there. But bear in mind if you are using this for kids and things like that, you probably wouldn't have utilities, you'd just have a couple of categories, it's as simple as that. Then all they do, click on it, takes them to the app and it's done. So now I'm going to show you how you can install it, how to use it, and then I'll show you how you can tweak it, make it look different, add different things to it, and I'll try and be as quick as I can. Because we all get bored when we're watching shit like this, me included. So we'll try and be quick. Right, so this is a fresh launch of the GT King Pro, and what I should mention is this is going to work on any Android TV box. When it comes to your Android TV devices like your Nvidia Shields and your Xiaomi Mi boxes, I'm not sure if I'd change them because I personally like the layout, but the Chinese boxes, I think these look a bit dog shit. And the GT King Pro, spec-wise, is an awesome box, but it just looks awful. So we want to change it. So it's as simple as, we're going to go into the launcher. We're not, we're not. <laughs> we're going to go into the web browser. So we'll open Google Chrome. Opal. I think I said open then. We're going to click on the search bar at the top. And we're going to put in Let's Crack On. It's there already, but you might have to type it a bit more. I'm going to use the mouse for this as well, which is already on the remote. So then we're going to go to Downloads. And then we're going to scroll down the page. If you don't know how to scroll, you simply just long hold the middle button. And then go up the page and it'll swipe. And then it, you can go up and down the page like that. And as you can see, there's a few launches there. And like I said, we can cover more videos on this. But today, we're going to be looking at TV Launcher. It's going to take you through to the Downloads page. And once the countdown timer finishes, it'll start downloading automatically. And once that's finished, you're going to see it at the bottom. It should pop up in a moment. There we go. Click OK. And then click on Open. And sometimes, it may actually need to allow permissions for Google Chrome. So if you end up with this stage and you're like, Where's it gone? I can't find it. Go into your apps, go into your file explorer. There you're going to see it says downloads on the local disk. So if we click on that, you're going to see it should have gone into here. And then we're going to click on that and then it'll take you through to that install page. So if you do lose it, you can find it in the file manager. We're going to install that and we're going to click on done. And now what you're going to notice when I click home... It's going to pop up at the bottom and ask me which launcher I actually want to use. So at the moment we're using Light Home. And we want to click on TV Launcher. Click on Next, 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 Done. And then you're going to see it comes up like this. So if we click on something and then we click on the Home button again, you're going to see it comes up like that again. So it's giving you a choice of which launcher to use. So if you want to always use the TV Launcher that we're showing you now, you click on Always. 
and then every time you click on the home button it will take you back to this launcher. To get back to the GT King Pro layout you long hold the home button, it'll take you through like this and then keep clicking the back button and then it'll take you back there. But I'll show you how you can reset it all in a moment. So if I click on home button again it's going to take me back to that launcher. And now you're going to see the categories are already set at the top. You can change these, you can change them to symbols and logos as well, but we'll just keep them... What you do is go to settings at the top left hand corner. Go to theme and I prefer the dark look. I just think it looks better and it looks nicer. You're also going to see you can have um, the icons, so now if I go back home you're going to see they've now turned to little icons rather than the, the text. I'm struggling to talk, I do apologise. <laughs> but I personally like the text, so I'm going to turn the select icons off. And you've got the grid columns, so this is how many apps there are per line. So having them at three, they are pretty big, but you can have up to six, and they are a lot smaller and a bit easier on the eye. For this video, I'm going to leave it at four. If we go down to manage sections, you're going to see your sections are here. So if you click on media, and then the name, you can change the name of what that says. So I'm going to change that to movies. So once I've done that, I'm going to go back, click on save, and now that's changed. And also the icon colour, if the thumbnail doesn't fill it for the app, this is the background colour, what will come up behind it. I prefer to have it something a little bit darker. And they've also got the position. So if you can see at the moment, movies is in position 2. If I click on that and move it to position 4, you will see it moves to the end. So when I go back home, you can see it's moved to the end of that section now rather than in number 2 where games is. I'm going to change that back to number 2 and then we're going to create a new section for his live TV. So we click on create new section, we're going to call it live TV. For this, I'll call it IPTV to make it quicker. You can do capital letters but I can't be bothered to make it drag on any longer. You've got the icon again. But you don't need the icon if you're just showing text. And then you've got the colour of the background. I will show you more in a moment. And then the position, I want that to be number three. So now if you go back home, you're going to see we've got another section for his live TV. And I'm also going to show you that background. So to add things, simply click on the plus button, application, and every app you've got for movies or whatever category you are using, you simply just go through and select them. I'm even going to have Netflix in there, Prime Video, YouTube, Megabox. So if I click on back now, you're going to see on the top row, they all fill it, so it's all right. But the thumbnails at the bottom, they don't. And that's the background colour we've just changed from red. If I do change it back and go into Manage Sections, Movies, and change the colour again, if we have something brighter like yellow, you're going to see it comes up like that. But the reason I think this is better for children than that is, is simply because it's so easy to use and you can put whatever apps on there you want them to use and they are going to use. So same with the live TV section, add, and then you're going to add everything that's your live TV stuff. So whatever applications you do use, put them into there. So we'll scroll through, have a quick look, click on back and you see again, there you go. If you do think to yourself, well, I don't want that one there, you can long hold it and then you're going to see a couple of options here. So you can reposition, so you can move it to the front, to the end, whatever you want to do. You can change the category directly from here. So instead of having it in movies, you could move it to your favourites. And then once we go back, you will see it's in favourites. So when we go to movies, it has disappeared. But you can have these in multiple as well. So if I go back down to Cyberflix, you will see Cyberflix does still come up here. But it also comes up in favourites. Then if I long hold again, you're going to see you can remove it from it altogether from that category. Or you can change the thumbnail so you can add whatever image you want to it. Whatever you've saved into your gallery and things you can add to there. Then obviously at the end if you want it there you've got your utilities. You, you, you. <laughs> and this is where I put the settings and things like that and me installers and whatever you want to put in there. So once you've put them in. As you can see, the colour of that background is blue. And this is because this category has got a different colour set for it. So if I go to Utilities, and we change this one to, I don't know, a lighter blue. When I go back, you're going to see it changes again. And that's it. You just launch apps from there, and it's, it's as easy as that. 
And if you want to access all your apps in the top right hand corner, you click on that and you'll see them all come up in there. If you go to settings as well, and then the settings again, you could also change the background, the wallpaper, you could even get an animation going off, so a space animation, if I go home now, you're going to see it's a bit, it looks alright to be honest, I think it may me it like mess my eyes up after a bit, but, so if I go back into settings, settings again, I can turn that animation off, and you can change the wallpaper, what I like to do is turn on application wallpaper, and when I go back home, I like that look, it looks really nice and really clean. Then if I click on the game section, just add a quick game into there so it doesn't look lonely. And there you go. And your favourites, obviously, whatever you like using the most, put into there. Right, but a lot of people are going to think, well, how do I go back to the previous launcher? So the launcher that comes as stock with the box you're using, all you do is go into your settings... And then once you're here, you can see it says apps and notifications. Scroll down until you see default apps. I had to get Tech Doctor UK to have a look with me on this because we couldn't find it for the life of us. <laughs> click on that, and then you're going to see home app. And when you click this, this is whatever launcher you want to have as default. So if I change it to light home, you're going to see it goes back to default as it was. And then if you think, well, I want to do that again, I want to go back to the other launcher... Go to Droid Settings, More Settings, Apps and Applications. You can go down again to Default Apps, Home App, TV Launcher, and you're back to this one. And it really is like that. I was going to say it really is as simple as that, but maybe I, I don't talk the best in the world, as I know. And you let me know as well. <laughs> but like I said, do comment down below if you want to see more videos of launches. This is probably one of the more simpler looking ones, so... There's not as much on here, there's not as much customization as what you'd like, but I prefer things to be simple if I want to go on something, it's there. And like I said, I'm going to use this in my kid's bedroom because I can put two apps in each section and there all they can click on. And it's going to be easier for them as well. So that's TV Launcher. If you have any problems whatsoever, don't forget to comment down below. I'll be more than happy to help you. Or jump in the video description below the video and then you're going to see the social media links. Discord is a great place where a lot of the community are, all users just like us, and everybody helps each other, and it's very useful. So yeah, that's an Android launcher, and that's to stop the GT King Pro from looking absolutely dog shit. <laughs> right, so I hope this video helps you. If it did, just hit that like button. And if not, just hit that like button. <laughs> I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you soon. ta -da. And I love it. I love it, baby. Bye-bye. <laughs> Whoa, what the f***? Fly or a spider or something. <laughs> with, the Google, with the official Google look. Oh, shit, I can't even talk.